bothers. You are necessary and you are needed. You dig? Don't let nobody else tell you different. Let's talk about it. One love to the fathers, man. Be an example to those as the father is an example to us. You dig? A lot, of, a lot of people out here, man, hurting in this world. You know why? Because they've taken on the attitude. They've taken on the, the mentality that fathers are not needed, right? They're just sperm donors or, you know, um, they're, they're not good for nothing. Uh, all they do is, is, is have children and, and cut and leave, right? Well, I want to dispel that myth. Yes, there are men that have done that, but we're not talking about those type of fathers. We're talking about fathers that stand up and be accountable for. We're talking about fathers that if they haven't been in the past, that they want to stand up and be accountable for because fathers are important and they are needed. As I sit here and I contemplate, you know, what I believe makes a good father, you know, I think about my father and how I really have tried a lot in my life to emulate my father. Even though in the very beginning, all I said is, oh, I don't wanna be nothing like my dad. I'm not gonna be nothing like my dad. I'm not gonna do things like my dad. All that turned out, for the most part, <laughs> to be untrue. Now, there are some things yeah, I've done differently than my father did then. But for the most part, when I look back on my life, there's a lot of things that I followed in his footsteps. Things that I wasn't even privy to. I didn't know about, or if I did have knowledge of it, it was so long ago, I didn't remember, but there are so many things that I have followed in my father's footsteps. From decisions, to responses, to thought processes, you know, um, but what I'm also learning is that as I continue to grow with my father and I watch my father and I study my father, I look at his examples, I look at his instructions, I look at his guidance, and the more I see him moving towards love, ultimately on a bigger scale, that love is the most important thing. And so then when I look at my father in heaven and I see how he created me and he created me in such a special and unique way that I am like him, right? In many ways. Yes, I have my own personality. Yes, I have free will. Yes, I have desires and likes and things like this. But the more I read and study about my father and the more I come into a greater awareness and consciousness of who God really is, not who we think he is. I have a greater awareness within myself that it's all about love. You dig? Love connects everything on every level, whether it's the macrocosmic level or the microcosmic level. You dig? Love connects us all. And so when I had to, when I was thinking about the attributes of my father and the attributes of my father in heaven, these are the examples that I have. And my other fathers that have played roles in my life, you know, my other fathers and stepfathers, you dig? Um, it's all about love, y'all. You dig? It's all about loving one another, coming together. And how can I love on you? Whether it's physically, whether it's emotionally, mentally, uh, financially, um, however it may be that I can show you some love. I don't have to know you. You dig? You don't have to be a part of my circles or you don't have to be, you know, in my stratosphere. You don't have to be in my state, country, continent. <laughs> you dig? For me to show you some love. They have all type of beautiful things now in today's society to where we can show other people love. You dig? We can connect all over the world, whether it's through digitally, internet, phone, 
however you however you connect this possible for us to connect all over the globe at any time of the day to be able to express love show love invite love give love you dig because that's what it's all about it's all about love so i just want to come on real quick and share that with y'all right going into this father's day weekend and yes we recognize women that have played the role as fathers and we recognize the importance of that but it's not about the women right now it's about the men and it's father's day weekend you dig and because it's father's day weekend we are supporting the fathers and the men y'all women had y'all mother's day weekend right and we didn't say nothing about the daddies having played mamas and all that so listen it's our shine this weekend it's for the fathers right for those of us that are fathers out there let's stand up and be fathers let's be good examples and give good instruction give good wisdom right let's give good love and sincere love and let's show you know sincerity in our actions toward our children our stepchildren towards those kids that flock to us as fathers or uncles or leaders or you know guides let's stand up and be fathers not only to ours but also to the fatherless let's stand up and be those role models those guides those big unk if you will to where it's going to be positive you're going to leave a positive foot imprint you're going to leave a positive lasting you know outweighing the foolery and the bull crap and the bs that's out there whether you know it or not somebody watching I mean, people are always watching <laughs> you know what i'm saying so if you know that people are always watching and you know that somebody eyeballs is on you at all times if not just God's himself. Let's walk and be an example that others can follow. You dig? The last thing you want to do is be a stumbling block to somebody and you didn't even know them and, and, and you didn't know they was watching you and you wind up being a stumbling block because of your actions, right? Because you thought you was in the free and clear for a hot second. No, man, somebody's always watching. So it behooves us to always be an example. We always got to be on the up and up, man. You dig? So that way we can represent. Y'all know y'all heard. Represent? Throw your set up. What set you claim? You know, all that craziness, right? Well, I'm throwing up God's set. And I claim the kingdom of heaven. You dig? That's my set. This is my, you know, I'm throwing. What's your set you claim? It's what I claim, bro. You know, I don't know all that all I don't know all that kind of garbage, but this is what I claim, bro. This is my set. What what you throwing up? What's your set? Where you from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm throwing up. KOH. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. KOH. That's what I'm rocking. What you set you claiming. You know what I'm saying? That's my response. When cats and I've had that happen when I be going to the bank and when I be going different spots and I gotta go through the hood, you know, cats will be looking at me all up and down and a couple cats are bold enough to yo man what What's up? Where you from? Man, KOH. That's my set, nigga. What you claim? <laughs> Where you from? You know what I'm saying? KOH. That sparks up a that sparks up a conversation. They don't know what KOH is. They're like, man, man where is that? Where that homie? You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yo, man, I can show you. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom of heaven, homie. I can show you where it's at. I can show you what I set, you know, my set and what I rock and what I claim. Let me, you got a minute? Let me holler at you. <laughs> and then you see where people really is at. You know, they gonna holler, or they gonna be like, oh man, I'm cool, blood. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Watch yourself. You know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but that's what I say. This is set I claim, homie. KOH, all day. You dig? So, again, I just said all that just to say, one love to the fathers out there, man. Rep you being a dad to the fullest. You dig? Whether you've been a, even if you've been a bad example, but you're trying to change. You're trying to do things different. I know it don't always seem easy. And I know people get on, on you, you know, for your past. And, 
and and and, and people don't appreciate the, at least your heart of trying and and wanting to do better you know what i'm saying some people ain't giving you a chance the kids ain't trying to hear what you got to say and everybody calling you a deadbeat but yo stand up dust yourself off and walk in your fatherhood try the best you can to make things right as much as you can and walk in your fatherhood be the father that god called you to be doesn't matter what you've done in the past Starting today, starting this Father's Day weekend, let's be the men and the fathers and the examples and the guides and the instructors and the tutors and the big unks <laughs> that we've been called to be. You dig? Your man, LeVon, one love, I'm out. Remember, Lamella E, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. The website is coming soon. You dig? It's going to be new and improved so y'all can go and check out the merch. And otherwise... Hit the like, hit the subscribe so you always know when I coming on, you know, bringing a video and bringing content. Make sure that you you uh, hit that bell notification and share this video, you dig? Won't you consider becoming a subscriber if you're new to the channel? If not, share this with everyone you know so it helped the algorithm, you dig? And we can build the subscriber up. Email Levon, I'm out.